we finally arrived here in Nepal. So that's it. These are our first steps on our 20 day long trek from Okaldhunga to Everest Base Camp. Andrew took a bit of a tumble before. So we've been invited into this lovely lady's home for some tea and uh, I've also been given a taste of bits of vodka they make here themselves. We have finally made it. This is Sepli. We have climbed 150 meters in elevation. So we've stopped for lunch. We've checked into our room and thrown our bags on the beds. The water is absolutely freezing. It was really nice and refreshing after, uh, after the hike today. We are Andrew and Leanne, and in 2021, we packed our bags, quit our jobs, and sold our car to buy a one-way ticket around the world. In the last video, we made our way to Nepal. Join us in part two as we make our way further up towards Everest Base Camp. Good morning again from a little village up in the hills. Uh, welcome to the room tour. Uh, sorry if I look absolutely awful. I've not had a proper shower in two days. Um, this is our room. It's two beds and a door and a window. <laughs> you know, nice and basic. Super cheap, we think. We actually don't know how much this place is yet, but um, when we find out, we'll put it down below. We do have a lovely window out there to the farm and a door out here that leads to some other rooms. Also with our room, get a guard chicken. So we also have like a communal dining area, which is where we're going to have breakfast now. Uh, but before we do that, look at these views. Absolutely beautiful place to wake up. So we've come through in here now. This is where we're having breakfast. Morning, morning, sweaty honey. This is this is where we have breakfast. Nice fire. Nice Morning. And uh, just through here is where we all sit and eat. They really make um make use of all the space, so it doubles up as like a dining area and beds. So this is where the family who own the place sleep. Uh, and then they kind of like turn it into a dining area for the guests. Um, we're just gonna go sit by the fire, drink some tea, and then have breakfast. See you in a bit. So the lady has just brought us our noodle soup, which has got egg, vegetables, curry, noodles. Um, it smells absolutely amazing, and it's gonna give us the energy to get up that hill. We've also got this special bread here. Um, Andrew will explain how they make it. So this bread, they actually make with rice flour, so they grow the rice themselves here in the hills and then they will bring it back up to like, the yard in the center of this place and they'll put it into giant, like a giant pestle and mortar and it will take them about an hour to grind it down to a flour which they will then mix with water and deep fry and this is what they get. And it's delicious. <laughs> now it's time to head to the John before, uh, before we go to climb this. We have to climb this today. So we're going to try and do that before the sun comes up. Thank you. And that's it. We're off again. I think today is a five hour walk. And what is the name of the town we are going to today, Ram? Moidani. Moidani. Yeah, it's about five hours. It takes about three hours to get to the top of this, this ridge. And then apparently it takes about two hours to get back down to what is actually Ram's hometown. waterfall in this area called Sepli Waterfall. From the bottom to the top is actually 100 meters and you can just hear how powerful it is. Usually in the monsoon season this is massive but at the moment it's the dry season and there's still this much water coming from it. We stopped off at the waterfall, filled our water bottles back up and now we have to climb these rocks. for a bit. We've made it um, up 
the majority of the climb today, I think. And now we finally got a nice bit of, of a gentle, gentle climb to the top of this peak. So I think that's the hardest part of today's hike done. It should be mainly level and then downhill once we reach the top. But yeah, so far feeling good. Not too sore, I'm not sure how Leanne's feeling. I think that answered that. We made it to the top in about three hours. It was quite an incline. And from here, it's mainly downhill to Rams Village, about two hours slow walk. And Rams family are gonna make us some food when we arrive. Rehydrate, start again. <laughs> and once again, not sure if you can see it, but this is the village we stayed in last night. <sighs> so yeah, we've come quite a distance already. So we've just been told we can come inside this, this house here for some more tea. A nice welcome stop after three hours of hiking uphill. This is one of the traditional Nepalese houses and they just invite you in here for tea. Everything's like made of wood and pots and pans everywhere and everything's filled with like soot from the fire. But uh, they still have a TV. <laughs> Ram was saying that the villages on this side of the valley have electricity. Um, once we get onto the other side of the valley, the houses don't have electricity. So it'd be interesting to see that as well. Sorry, we completely forgot to, uh, to film the tea. It's delicious. It was salted milk tea. Really nice. Slightly sweet, slightly salty. Really creamy, absolutely delicious. And now we're back on the road. Watch, Watch my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Such a lovely family. Honestly, it's so special to meet families like that and to be welcomed into the home and just have like a cup of tea. Really, really nice. Probably, probably my favorite part of Nepal so far is just going to people's houses and having tea. <laughs> <laughs> little white flowers. They're wild strawberries. So cute. Andrew, watch your neck. Really? Be careful. Okay. Be careful. Oh. Careful, careful, careful. Woo! <laughs> weighed so much. I have no idea how these ladies carry this. It, it was so heavy. How? I feel like a little yeah. bit like it. You are so strong. So strong, yeah. Seriously have no idea how those ladies carry those baskets. And apparently they've carried them for an hour and a half today already. Absolute madness. I couldn't even pick it up. <laughs> yeah, every two days they have to make the same journey. So it's about an hour and a half each way. Ah, absolutely blown my mind. I, I cannot believe that, that they are able to carry that. So strong, so, so strong. Yeah, I would like to show the way I was born. See the, over there in the middle, blue robes. That's the, my parents' house. I was born then I was growing up over there. We're gonna stay two nights over there, okay? okay. So these are Ram's parents working here in the fields. And this is the home. They spend six months here and then six months over the other side of the valley. Namaste, Amma. Okay. okay, I'm ready to go for the mashed potato. <laughs> So, I've just been offered chang. Yesterday, you saw us drink the rokshi. So, they then take this, the chang, and distill it, and that becomes rokshi. This is slightly less strong than the rokshi, but it's nice. And I've been given a full cup, so. <laughs> it's nice, meet the chat. So, we have just had the most amazing meal with Ram's family. 
We had like um, a potato soup, so they got mashed potatoes, uh, made a soup with eggs, spices, and herbs, and then they kind of uh, put like mashed potato balls into the soup. It was delicious. I need to make that back at home. But yeah, really, really interesting. Probably one of my favorite things I've eaten so far here in Nepal. Ram is just uh, letting us try a vegetable we've never tried before in our lives. He said it's called a ground apple. Uh, I thought it was a sweet potato, but it's not. It is a different color. And he said you can eat it raw as well. So I'm quite intrigued. Uh, as I say, something I've never tried. And uh, we're gonna give it a wash and give it a go. Here it goes. Doesn't smell like much. Wow. Oh, that is so bad. Mm. That is delicious. Meat cha. Mm. Mm. Why do we not grow these in England? <laughs> I have never seen it. No? No. Never. Yeah, completely different to a sweet potato. Looks very similar, mm. but it's so juicy. Really, really juicy, quite sweet. Not not overly sweet. It tastes very similar to an apple. Like a cross between apple and sugar cane. Mmm. 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 I thought it would be tough, like a potato. It's <laughs> not like a potato. No. Mm. Mm. Um. Ground apple. Hmm. So, day two of the hike complete. Confession cam day two. Namaste. After day two trek, we arrived to my hometown. Uh, feel good today. My toes are still a little bit sore. My feet are super, super sore. I have blisters all at the back. Honestly, blown away by this place. The fact that we've just been invited into Ram's family's home. His name is Danny. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shaju. <laughs> we really feel as though we've become part of the family. And this little guy is absolutely adorable. Feeling pretty tired every day. You have like maybe three hours where you really have to push yourself. Yeah, I'm just really, really positive at the moment and feel really excited to carry on with the rest of the trip. Very nice to stay with my family and my clients also. Wow. Enjoy to hear them first. I hope we are doing well after the next trek. Thank you. Okay, so day number three of the trek. We are leaving Ram's hometown and we are heading up the mountains. We have five hours of continuous climbing. Uh, we are climbing a peak called Jabra. And I think we are staying near the top and then tomorrow we go back. Is it back down or? Up, 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 just, just up. <laughs> so in a couple of days, we are heading to Pique Peak, uh, which is at an altitude of 4,200 meters. So that will be by far the highest we have climbed so far. Let's see if our, uh, our legs can cope. So we've just come from those houses over there, Ram's parents' house. And we've come all the way down to the river and come all the way back up again to our resting point. And we're just going to drop some buffalo milk off at uh, one of Ram's relatives' houses. <laughs> yeah, we go there. <laughs> okay. So the lady here actually has the most random thing ever. Popcorn. <laughs> mm. So we've already stopped off at another house and had tea and popcorn. Every single house that we stop at here in Nepal wants to feed us. And we have discovered very quickly that the word no or pugya, meaning I'm full, means absolutely nothing. <laughs> they will insist on you having more and more and more. <sighs> and it becomes difficult to walk up hills because now I weigh about three stone more. So yesterday we actually took the day off from trekking and we didn't really film, we just spent the day um, kind of experiencing the local life here and uh, we met a lot of people, a lot of uh, Ram's relatives and we started off just down behind this peak is Ram's house and then we came here and then we went all the way up to here and we had some drinks and we went to this house here and we had lunch and we did a bit of farming here and then we met, met an ex-Gorka British soldier in this house here 
So, just in one day, we actually got to see a lot of the valley. Um, and considering we weren't meant to be trekking, we did a lot of walking yesterday to see some of the houses. So the young boy that we were staying with in Ram's parents' home, Shazu, he actually walks from grandparents' house all the way down, all the way back up to this white building over here. How long do you think that takes him? Yeah, an hour. An hour. An Probably hour yeah. for a Nepali walking. How long would it take us? Take us about three days. Yeah. <laughs> It's all uphill from here, unfortunately. And when he says uphill, he means uphill. Like, almost vertical sometimes. Luckily he stops like every 20 minutes or so, like maybe for 30 seconds, just to catch your breath a little bit. But we've still got probably about another hour and a half climb, and then maybe another hour before we reach our final destination. So not too far. We've left the road now for today and we are on a trekking path. We've already bumped into two people, two locals on the path. Very nice, very nice to say hello. And uh, yeah, nice little path, isn't it, Leanne? Nice path, yeah. Local path, trekking path. It's especially nice because a lot of it is downhill for the first time all day. And uh, it's nice on the legs. We've arrived three hours. Three and a half. Three and a half hours. We are basically in Nepali now. <laughs> so this is the first like touristy tea house that we have stayed in so far. This is more like most of the accommodations we will be staying in once we reach like the height of Lukla and Namche Bazaar. And uh, yeah, it's quite cute, quite cozy. Yeah. We have like a nice fire in the middle. Night, yeah. yeah, to keep us warm in the night because we're now at around 2,500 meters. So it's a lot cooler here than it was lower down, about 15 degrees. And then it'll drop lower in the nighttime as well. So a lot cooler. Quick room tour. We've arrived. This is the room. Uh, the room costs 500 Nepali rupees per night. These are the beds, table, window, and electric. We have electric here so we can charge everything. We have so much to charge. Yeah. Um, the beds are actually really comfortable. Nice fresh bedding, really nice soft pillows, really good pillow. Um, you really appreciate things more here. When you get something really nice, it's like, oh yeah, feel good. Um, they're making us some noodle and egg soup downstairs for lunch. Um, I'm definitely freezing here, so I'm gonna have to go and get a jacket, but we'll catch you for lunch. So the lady here has just made us some egg noodle and vegetable soup. I've put a little bit of the pepper inside, but there's also some um, pickled chili for Andrew and Ram, because they like spicy. Uh, let's try. Mmm. Mitucha. Mitucha? Mitucha. Okay, enjoy. Mm. Okay. They brought these pigs on the back of a motorbike in two baskets. They've come all the way from Okaldunga, so quite far on the back of a motorbike. Um, they seem a lot happier in here. So once again guys, if you enjoy the videos, please do not forget to subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And uh, follow us on Instagram as well because we upload daily stories. It's at Lost Knox. And as I say, don't forget to subscribe. Just click down here. Day three of the trek is done. So today's trek was super easy actually. Hey everyone, namaste. 
we're doing very well. Yeah, not too bad. We were a little bit worried about today. Ram told us that it was all uphill, so we kind of built ourselves up for this really, really difficult day. It was supposed to take us five hours continuously uphill. Um, it actually ended up taking us two and a half hours, minus the break. Yeah, still feel really good. We've arrived at this really, really nice tea house. The mattresses are so much comfier than the mattresses we've been sleeping on for the past, like the past four days. The blisters on my feet are still really, really sore. One of the plasters has completely come off. The other one is clinging on for dear life. It's a little bit cooler than it has been down in the mountains but he's about to light a fire and hopefully that will warm us up. But Feeling really, really good. It is definitely more cold here. <laughs> um, so we're all wrapped up, but when you get walking, you warm up. So anyway, see you tomorrow. Yeah, I feel really good. feel really good. Still no, no major aches and pains. And overall, just still feel really, really positive and ready for the rest of the trek. Today was very nice. A bit climbing up, but it is good. Nice walk, then nice to see. Look villages and lots of flowers. Lovely day. Thank you. Just woken up this morning and looked out the window and we've caught our first glimpse of one of the Himalayan mountains. But we did just legitimately get chased by a yak. Let me give you a really, really quick Nepalese bathroom tour. But we finally caught our first glimpse of Piki Peak Base Camp. We have a new companion, this dog following us. Welcome to the summit of Piki Peak. 